everyone so now we are going to see a very very important function which is an indirect function so i'll uh, basically give you all five to six examples on this uh, to make you all understand how we can use indirect function in various ways so the very first example okay so the very first thing which i want you all to know is that indirect function what it does is that it um, basically converts a text into a reference uh, into a cell reference and what do i mean by text um it it is it's like a string it converts that text string into a cell reference so i'll just give you a small example over here and you'll understand that better what i have done i've taken um, a small table i've renamed these in each column according to their column headings like math english english and science so i have renamed these columns now let us see suppose um, i want total math marks suppose i want the total math marks now how to go about it so what do i do is i write sum and then what i can do i can simply write okay, uh, write math over here and i can get the mark total sum because i have already renamed this i have created a named range now suppose um, i do not want um, to always find the math marks of math uh, sum of math marks it can be english it can be science depending what i write over here so i'll create something cell referencing over here such that i don't have to select math i just select this particular cell and i get the answer obviously here it's zero but what do i want is this math is nothing but this entire named range if i write english then that is this named range so how do we do that we use an indirect function for that so indirect indirect and here before indirect you can see it returns the reference specified by a text string so this is a text string which i am going to mention so this text string represents this entire named range so this is the cell reference which will be returned using an indirect function so i'll just instead write i'll select this math over here and then i'll just simply close the bracket and you have the answer as 200 so basically the answer to this indirect math is nothing but this entire named range this selected named range over here now if i change this math to let's say suppose english um okay i'll make a quick setting change over here um uh, formulas and i make it automatic okay so if i change it to english and you can see the uh, calculation has been changed it is 194 now if i change this to science and let us check so this is 195 so hence the indirect function is used with the named range where the indirect the value of this indirect function where i selected the named range is nothing but the uh, the entire range which i had renamed as science or math or english so that is the use of name uh, indirect function that is the first use now let us go to the second use so basically i have three sheets over here i have maharashtra west bengal and delhi so in these sheets i have some sales value by different people so these are the names of different people and also i have sales value from cell number c4 till cell number c9 as you can see c4 till c9 in maharashtra similarly in west bengal c4 to c9 similarly in delhi c4 to c9 so all these cells are same in all the these three sheets although i haven't renamed as you can see i haven't renamed any of these i haven't renamed any of these as you can see only the sheet has been renamed right now suppose if i just give the state over here suppose i give delhi and i want the total sales of delhi so what do i want is sum of all these numbers over here now how do i get basically what you can do if you don't know the indirect function what you will do is you will take the sum function over here you will go to this particular sheet over here and select these cells close the bracket and enter and you get the value which is 3850 now what you have done basically in this what you have written you have written uh, what you have got is delhi 
which is the sheet name exclamation mark and the cell range which is C4 to C9. So basically this is the thing which is going to change for West Bengal and Maharashtra otherwise the range remains the same. Now how to deal with this again we can create an indirect function for this Delhi so that um, I can use indirect function and I can change this Delhi to Maharashtra to West Bengal right. So I'll use this entire same thing I'll use over here. So I'll just write let us write uh, Delhi over here keep the it is case sensitive so my, mind the capital D which I have written so all those things should be kept in mind sum and then I'm going to write indirect over here now uh, first of all what do I want is Delhi uh, which is a state name and the state name so I'll just going to select this cell then I, I will use the ampersand or the and symbol because it is a text remember it is a text and you can in the indirect um, function the input value is the text always so this text yeah I want to add the text basically I want Delhi exclamation mark C4 to C9 so that entire thing is a text now I have written Delhi you need to add exclamation mark C4 C9 so how do you do that you use the ampersand or the and or the concatenate symbol then what we do whenever we add something we write something we use the quotations we know that now I'll just add uh, exclamation mark C4 colon C9 uh, quotations close and bracket close bracket close so basically this is Delhi exclamation mark C4 C9 exactly what I saw over here so I'll just click on enter and I got the same see uh, Delhi exclamation mark C4 C9 exactly I did the same thing in the indirect also so what did I do this B5 is Delhi uh, and concatenation basically this is ampersand symbol and the um, colon, uh, the exclamation mark C4 to C9 now if I change this Delhi to Maharashtra Maharashtra and see the answer changes so similarly when I write West Bengal let us see Bengal okay so now I am getting a ref error which is a reference error now why is this so I'll just check it through instead of writing Delhi instead of selecting Delhi over here let us select West Bengal and check what is happening what is the change which we need to make so here the difference I'll show you all the difference I'll just show you all some and I'll go and select the Delhi as well and I'll show you all the difference so basically what is the difference Delhi exclamation mark C4 to C9 over here we have colon we have this uh, single quotation best Bengal with a space over here quotation closed um, exclamation mark C4 to C9 so basically you have this single quotation which is not there in the Delhi in case of Delhi this is because uh, Delhi is a single word Maharashtra is a single word but West Bengal is a two word with a space so hence we are getting this entire thing as a sheet name so we have something extra which is this single quotations this single quotations is not there in my indirect function so I need to add this single quotation as well because I want single quotation West Bengal single quotation exclamation mark C4 to C9 so how do I add that again we'll use a concatenation function so uh, quotations single quotes so basically see what I've done I've used double quotations double quotations and in between I've used a single quotations because we know that there is a single quotation and obviously I'll use an ampersand symbol over here so what I'm doing quote West Bengal again there should be a quote so here I can simply write a quote so here again I'm giving one single quote exclamation mark C4 to C9 and when I press enter now I have the exact answer so this is how you use the indirect function for the named sheets you can use the sheet now if you change anything and you do you can get the answer simply you just need to add the single quotations because if your sheet name has more than uh, one word then it will require the single quotations as well so you need to add it over here and over here let us move to the third example 
now the third example is very interesting over here so it is basically uh, as you see we have three months jan feb and march so it may extend to april uh, may june july obviously current month is march and maybe you want this month's total figure right you want this sorry for the interruption so we have um, all these uh, months over here basically what i want i have not renamed anything as you can see i have not renamed any cell over here nothing has been renamed right now suppose uh, i want the total figure over here for the most current month the this month's figure basically so if i add april over here if i add may over here i want that over here the final figure whichever the current month is basically so how do i do that how do i uh, use that thing now try to understand this is slight different from what we have done until now from what we have done in the last uh, two um, examples so <clears throat> what do i going uh, what do i write basically first i'll explain one more aspect of indirect function to you all i'll just give a so there are two parameters as you can see first is the ref text reference text that is the thing which we were dealing which we were dealing with now currently which was the uh, first was we dealt with the named range then we we dealt with the name sheet so that was a ref text now suppose uh, i don't want to give any ref text so i'm just giving a comma and one thing which i want to explain is this a1 now what is this a1 this a1 is a way you refer to a cell how do you refer to this particular cell over here it is j6 right this cell is j6 uh this cell which is e of 7 this cell which is a1 so this is how you refer a particular cell in excel now there is some other way as well there is a style of r1 c1 now what is r1 and c1 r1 and c1 is the row then the column first you refer to the row and then column and r1 c1 meaning row 1 column 1 row 1 column 1 so you're not specifying the column letter you are specifying the column number suppose i am just going to give you an example how do you refer to a3 there are two ways one is this a1 style what is a1 style which is a3 that is the column letter the row number a3 the second way is to first specify the row number and the column number not the column letter so how do you do that you say r3 c1 r3 c1 this r1 c1 is nothing but a1 so r1 c1 see so interesting so this is an another way you have learned to refer a particular cell r1 c1 row 1 column 1 where column 1 is nothing but the column number a column letter a so this way now what do we want over here we want the row number to be 10 we want the row number to be 10 so r 10 that is done because we want this figure right these figures the column number will, will change it can be but that is always the last column suppose here or maybe if you add april or maybe if you add may so that will obviously be always the last column in your data set whichever is your last column so that is one thing now how do you find the last column what if i say that you can use count function over here what is basically a count function so suppose if i take this entire column entire row sorry and i say the count which is count a i'm mentioning count a count a is 4 because 1 2 3 4 count a includes both the numeric and the text strings as well so it ignores all the non blank cells so it takes all the non blank cells it ignores all the blank cells no matter if it is a numeric or it is a text now it will give me an answer of 4 so that is what i want r 10 column num row number 10 so r 10 and 4 c uh, 4 which is column number d so that is what we want so i need to change my style of reference now how do i do that i know that r10 is fixed 
so i'm just going to write art okay i'll just mention this within the quotations now again why we are mentioning this within the quotations why i can't write art in try to understand this parameter is a text excel expects you to write a text when you write a number within quotations it signifies that you are writing a text so if i am saying 10 and 10 within the quotations both are different one 10 uh, just a single 10 is a numeric 10 within the quotations is a is a text right so i am going to write r 10 over here so r 10 then the next thing should be c 4 so c but that 4 should be dynamic because that 4 will change when i add more ones so this is done now what i can do is i can add a could i can add a ampersand over here and for the 4 what i can do is i can write the count a function now the count a function and the ampersand you know obviously it will add it will concatenate whatever the answer is for this count a now this count a will give me count all the non empty cells or the non blank cells so i'll just take this i'll select this entire row because it can go up to the last very last uh, column right so i'll just select this and comma now i need to mention the style because i've changed the style by default it was true but now i have changed the style i've made it false so i need to double click false because now i am referring it as r1c1 so i'll hit enter and see i got the answer as 1960 so if i can make if i write something here as well you see the answer changes why so r10 remains the same but this count a gives me an answer of 5 so r10 c5 which is e10 not so that is so interesting which you get see so that is how you deal with the last value over here now let us move to the next thing next we have we look up in the indirect function how to use both of them together now suppose i have kolkata i have bangalore you can have many more cities over there and i have these people over people over here who have made these sales so suppose i want to make a we look up i want to maybe search for a person in bangalore for j in bangalore how much sales j has made in bangalore or i can say how much sales e has made in kolkata so that way i need to search the sales so one thing which i have done is i have renamed this entire box as kolkata this entire box as bangalore so this entire as kolkata this entire as bangalore so now suppose i want to search it for f in um kolkata now this kolkata which i mentioned in the region section should be exactly similar to my how i have renamed the cells and also this f should be similar to this f over here so i'll just make this capital k now what do i do i can say that we look up so my look up value is always to the left which is f over here then i will see the table the entire table so which table i am referring to i'll say i am referring to the kolkata table so this so if you remember the table array i am referring to the kolkata table column number and i want the answer from 2 i hope you all very you all are very conversant with the we look up now so zero for the exact match but i am getting a na how will we how will my excel understand what is this kolkata how can you just simply mention a cell number over here you can't just mention a cell number you can't just mention kolkata over here what do you need to do you can write kolkata you can write kolkata but then that will become that will uh, fix your formula fix your function then you always have to come and change the formula make it kolkata bangalore so that becomes very difficult so what do we going to do instead of this before i'll just say in direct and i'll select this upper cell over here which is kolkata so this in direct is doing what it is taking this text reference which is kolkata text reference and giving me the cell reference what is the cell reference this entire thing is the cell reference this entire thing is a cell reference taking the text giving me the cell reference right so i'll just click on the enter and see i got the answer as 300 so if you change it to bangalore you get the answer okay i made some issue i think bangalore okay so this is small so this thing you need to keep in mind you can what you can do is i'll just what 
सपोज इफ यू कम इफ सम वन एल्स स्टिल आई एम गेटिंग दिस एरर ओके ओके सो देर इज नो एफ बेसिकली देर इज नो एफ आई चेंज दिस टू एल मे बी सो आई गॉट अ थाउजेंड राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू डील विद द टेबल यू डील विद द इनडायरेक्ट फंक्शन विद इन अ वी लोका थैंक यू नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव दिस ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट दिस इज द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल विच यू आर गोइंग टू डील विद द इनडायरेक्ट फंक्शन नाउ सो नाउ वट डू आई से इज वॉट आई हैव डन आई हैव टेकन थ्री क्विजीन्स ओवर हेयर आई हैव टेकन इंडियन चाइनीज इटालियन आई हैव रीनेम दिस एज इंडियन दिस एज चाइनीज दिस एज इटालियन नाउ सपोज यू कम टू अ रेस्टोरेंट एंड यू जस्ट द वेटर आस्क यू विच क्विजीन सर सो यू जस्ट से नूडल्स and uh, sorry you just say chinese and the moment you say chinese the waiter shows you all the menu all the foods uh, food which is available under the chinese cuisine i want that to same thing to happen over here basically what do i want i want two drop down list in this i want a drop drop down list to contain indian chinese italian in this i want the drop down list to contain the particular suppose if i select chinese over here then that should contain these three items now how do i do that first of all i will insert a drop down over here data uh, data tab data validation i i hope you all have done in this in the data validation um feature when we were doing it if not you can go and do see that video it's very simple so i'll just change it to list source will be obviously this entire three things now i have created a drop down so i am selecting chinese or i can just select indian i like indian so i'll just select indian so that way i have selected indian now within the menu also i want a drop down so that i get these three how do i do that again i create a data validation again i create a list now in the source will you mention this three if you mention these three then it becomes permanent even if you change it to chinese even if it if you change it to italian it will always be these three now how do i how do i make this more dynamic look more dynamic so that you get the answer of whatever cuisine you follow so what do i write over here it's very simple in the source you just write indirect indirect you give a function basically and so one more thing which i need to explain what do i need to write in the source what do i need to select from here the cell reference what is the answer of indirect the cell reference so this is the main point of using indirect wherever you want to give a cell reference be it a1 c1 d1 be it a range of cells a1 to c1 so anything you want to give and you use an indirect for that you can simply get the answer right so instead of mentioning the specific uh, cell ranges i give an indirect function and i select this particular cell over here i close the bracket and i hit okay now you see the drop down you have all the indian foods over here if i select chinese and you see the drop down you have see noodles dim sums so all these so this is how you create a drop down list in uh, using indirect function instead of mentioning the cell reference all these cell reference you use the indirect function so these are some of the few, some examples basically i've covered most of it of how do you use an indirect function which is a very important function in excel thank you